But they definitely are, and there's just a slight chance at the beginning of the games that we'll see a shower or thunderstorm, but that'll taper off as the games go on, so a lot of dry weather should be able to get them in. Here's a look at Live Doppler 2 HD. We've had just one isolated shower up in the eastern portion of Champaign County. It's pretty much fizzled out. Uh, that was just one isolated cell, and more of that rain is east, even of our area. A wider view shows that we have been pretty quiet here with the bulk of that activity in eastern and northeastern Ohio. But we do have some clouds coming into the Miami Valley from that system. Some of us will start off mostly cloudy, but the far southwestern county is actually mostly clear. As we go through the day, we do expect to see a mix of sun and clouds and another hot, humid afternoon. At lunchtime, we're already up to 84. 5 o'clock, 88. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will be possible anytime after 3 o'clock this afternoon in the heating of the day. And then we're going to be dropping down to 84 at 7 o'clock, still with that slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm. The nature of everything is going to be spotty, so some places will not see any rain today. Others will see a heavy downpour. As thunderstorms will be diminishing as we head into our overnight hours, and we have a hot and humid holiday weekend ahead. A low rain chance Saturday, and it goes even lower for Sunday and Labor Day. It's 71 right now. It's a very mild and muggy start. Our dew point is 67 degrees. Visibility is still 10 miles. We'll keep our eye on that as we head beyond sunrise or right around sunrise. 72 still in Sydney. Greenville is 71. Tip starting off at 68. And it's 69 in Tremont City. Still looking at high pressure to our south. There's a weak stalled boundary north of us. And areas north in the northern Miami Valley will have the best chance to see a few pop up showers, thunderstorms as we go into the afternoon, a little bit closer to that energy. Here's a look at our dew points. You can see we are in the mid and upper 60s, so it is still a juicy air mass. Little has changed from the past several days. Future track. Has a dry morning, uh, but as we go into those mid and late afternoon hours, you can see some of that activity firing up a spotty shower, thunderstorm, some of which could produce that heavy rainfall. They'll continue in the evening, but they'll taper off overnight. So by tomorrow morning at 7, we're back to dry weather. We have that early morning walk or jog, getting that in. And even through lunchtime tomorrow, we'll be heating up quickly, but we expect to be dry. As we go into the mid afternoon hours again of Saturday, we'll start to see some scattered showers and thunderstorms possible. Up near 90 today, that's where we were yesterday, so very similar. Hot, humid. Spotty shower thunderstorm heading to the high school football games this evening. Kickoff temperature 83. We will have some scattered showers, thunderstorms around then at 7:30, and then we'll drop down to 77 towards the end of the game with drier conditions. It is going to be warm and muggy at all of our games tonight. Low tonight is 68 degrees. It will still be muggy, and then tomorrow hot, humid, back up to 88. Still that chance of a spotty shower or thunderstorm. Your storm team two seven day forecast. Rain chances drop for Sunday, Monday. Lots of sunshine. Highs up near 90. And then next week, there are signs of cold fronts going to move in on Wednesday. That'll bring in a better chance of some organized showers, thunderstorms, and a drop in temperature for the second half of next week.